All right, thank both of you. Uh, are there any other candidates for mayor in attendance tonight? Uh, let's go to uh, City Council, District 1. Uh, Vivian, I saw you here. Would you like to come up? Just climb over the tables if you need to. <laughs> Valdosta in 1969, District 1. I raised three children in District 1. Only time I left District 1 was about three years and moved to California, and my kids were true wildcats. I had to bring them back to Valdosta, <laughs> to District 1. So that's, District 1 has been my life ever since 69. There's something else about me. 2012, I graduated with a bachelor's degree in psychology. So at 60 years old, I did something that the average kid Nowadays, at 18 and 19 years old, it's considered hard, so I feel I've accomplished quite a bit. My goal for District 1 is this, very simple. In order to build a home, you got to start with a foundation. I don't want to start up from the top, I want to start up from the bottom. When District 1, when I lived on six, uh, Cypher Street in 69 and 70, harvest was where Salvation Army is. I had to push a grocery cart from there home because I worked at Strickland Mills. I know how Troop Street's supposed to look. I know when the grass was like carpet in that area. I know when all the kids had to be in when the street lights came on. Now the kids are out all time of night, walking up and down the street, we got crime everywhere. We gotta stop this crime in District 1 and we gotta clean up District 1. How we can clean up District 1, my goal is this. Start out with yard of the month with a homeowner and a rental. <coughs> If one person clean up their yard and they see you get a, a trophy, it'll, it'll start a paper trail. The next person will want to do it. So that's one of my goals. My next goal is this, to work with whoever is mayor, the county commissioners, that we can come up with some kind of way that we can get some jobs in this area that, these, that our men of color can get some opportunities to work with these economic jobs, such as by Austin High School. Our black men can't work there because we say they don't, they're not certified. So we can come up some kind of way that the city and the county can work together and we can accomplish that to put some black men out there with some education, be able to be on some of these jobs. That's my second goal. My third goal is this, that we can work with the county commissioners and the city councilmen, that we can stop that water from flowing back in our areas. One way we can stop it, we, when I say we, District 1, we got to stop throwing trash in the canals. We can't blame it all on the city and you can't blame it all on the county. We go to Mr. B's, we come back, we throw the grocery cart in the, in the canal. We take our mattresses, we throw it in the canal. We take our trash, we throw it in the canal. So what we gotta do as black, and I'm not being racist, I'm being honest. We gotta come back and be proud of what we used to be. We gotta be proud of what we used to believe in. We used to care about our neighborhood. We gotta go back to that. It's no such thing as we gonna live there and don't take care of it. I was not always a homeowner. I was a renter. But you can tell the difference between me being a homeowner than a renter because I cared who I lived at. We got to go back to that. Number four, we got to come out the walls. My goal is this. We have a lot of black young men that keep committing the same crime. I worked in law enforcement. I was the first black female on the jet team. I can take you down. I know how to take you down. <laughs> Gwinnett Sheriff Department, but 
I got a great son that just went in the military, and I got two more, and I got so many some nephews that I done closed doors on at the county <laughs> because I don't show favoritism. If you've done wrong, I, I think you're supposed to correct it. But my thing is this, if you put me in this chair and let me show you what I can do, we gonna clean up just your one, and I'll be the first partaker of getting out there of yard of the month, and we start one weekend out the month, we get a trash bag, walk down the area, and clean up our area ourselves. My thing is this, if we clean up, they'll come.